welcome to another episode of Getting Crafty with Amy. Uh, we're going to finish up our series of sun catchers three ways. This is the last way to make a sun catcher. Um, this one you make it out of paper. Uh, supplies you'll need. You need a, um, a tissue or a cotton ball. You need a mason jar lid. Okay. And the insert. You need both of them. Um, you need a coloring sheet with a, a pattern or whatever you like on it. And um, I like to use markers for this project instead of the colored pencils. Um, and I'll tell you why later, but I, I would choose marker, markers over colored pencils. And then you also need um, glue and just Elmer's glue. I just borrowed the clear glue because I had it. Uh, you can use white glue also. And you need uh, vegetable oil. Okay, so that, those are the supplies. Okay, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your coloring sheet, okay, and this is where this part of the mason jar comes into play. You're going to choose uh, what pattern you want uh, for the middle for your sun catcher. So let's say you want it just random. So you would take this and you would take a marker and trace around, okay, and then cut that out. And it's going to be the size you need to go in your mason jar lid. Okay, it'll fit perfectly. Um, so that's the only thing you need that for. It's just a trace. Um, so for this project, I already uh, found a, a pattern I liked. There's the one I chose. Um, cut it out and I colored it. So it's already colored, so we're ready to go. Okay, so the last step, and if you'll see, it, it does fit, fits perfectly. So fits in the mason jar like that. Um, so the last step, one of the last steps, this is where your oil comes into play. Um, you can use tissue, cotton ball, paper towel, whatever, just something to put the oil on with. So we're going to make this transparent, and this is why I like to use the markers because you're going to put the oil all over the paper and it's just, I think the markers hold up a little bit better um, and they also kind of um, get a little bit prettier whenever they're covered with the oil. So just put some oil on there, okay, and you're just going to rub. Rub it all over your paper. I know I, that they do these with with kids. I saw a lot of kids' activities you can do with this, but by using the adult coloring pages or you know something like that, um, it makes it a little bit more sophisticated. So, you, you kids can do it with you, but yours doesn't necessarily have to look like a, a kitty project. So. You just soak your paper. You want to completely saturate it with that oil, okay? And you can kind of hold it up and see um, parts that aren't covered. This all looks pretty good, and you probably, I don't know if you can kind of see that it's almost transparent there, but um, I can see it here and see how it makes the colors really stand out too. So once you have that covered, now you're gonna take your glue and you just want the glue on the rim, the inside rim, okay? So, Cause that's only, that's where the paper's gonna sit. So just put some glue on the Inside rim. Doesn't take a whole lot. OK. 
right? And just put your paper in there like that. Okay. There we go. And just glue it in. Okay. And then and as it glues, you'll see it might start gapping a little bit. You can kind of push it down as it glues. So that is what it looks like. Okay. And then from here, um, I'm going to show you a completed project. I did do this one with the library also. This one I did uh, several years, years ago. Um, I don't know if the light's coming through, if you can see that enough, but you can really tell when you get it in front of a bright window. Um, I just went with some string. You can do it any way you want to. I just went up the sides um, and then kind of tied a knot and then made, made a hanging loop. So you can really do whatever kind of hanger you want to on this one. So, so that is all you do. It's really simple too. You can um, get a bunch of adult coloring pages and just really go to town. Of course, the, the longest thing about this one is coloring, you know, however long it takes to color and how uh, intricate your pattern is and the work you put into that. So that's the hardest, longest part of this one. Not really hard, but just long. But a lot of people like to just color, so it, I do. I enjoy coloring, so it's kind of fun, soothing project. So then you can it's, it's a good way to use those those coloring pages that you've colored and you don't really know what to do with. You can turn them into something that's actually useful. So, um, so that is another way to make a sun catcher. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.